Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Corey from Shaving with Chief, and thank you for tuning in to another West Coast Shaving Daily Shave. So today I'm gonna to be showcasing some really high value products that are perfect for somebody that's just starting into straight razor shaving. So all these products are very, very low cost, high quality, and are perfect for somebody who wants to get a really good shave but doesn't wanna break the bank doing it. So that being said, my razor for today is gonna to be my West Coast Shaving Branded Straight Razor. So this is a 5 8 full hollow ground straight razor that was handmade in Solingen, uh, Solingen, Germany. So this is high carbon Solingen steel, and this is an excellent, excellent value straight razor. So typically, uh, you know, straight razors will, you know, they start out at about $140, $150. Um, so this one um, comes in well under that, and I think they're actually currently on sale for about $108 right now. So this is a highly, uh, highly maneuverable blade, easy to use, uh, very good quality, and it's something that I would definitely suggest for a beginner that's just starting out. For my soap of choice today, I'm going to be going with uh, Sterling's Barbershop. So Sterling uh, is one of the undisputed kings of the value, uh, value in this industry. Um, this is their Barbershop scent, which is a kind of sweet, powdery, you know, American style barbershop that I really enjoy. Uh, this puck comes in at under $14 uh, and it's 5.8 ounces. So it's, it's an extremely good value, a very good scent, um, uh, an excellent soap to just start out with. And uh, for my brush today, I'm going to be using my uh, West Coast Shaving 24 millimeter Tuxedo Knot. Um, so this is a synthetic, so they're very, very easy to use and maintain. Um, this is their Ancient Stone Collection and this is their Purple. So they do a really nice job on the handle here. Um, this is a very good quality brush and right now this is under $20 as well. And lastly, for my post shave I'm going to be using today, I'm going to be using the Zagari Man Sago Bomb. Um, no lie, in my opinion, this is probably the best bomb in the industry. Uh, it's a very, very good quality bomb. Uh, it's under $20 and this thing lasts forever. Um, as you can see, I'm probably not even halfway through. Uh, I've been using this consistently for like, like four months now. So very high quality stuff right here. Um, so that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and wet the brush and we'll start loading up some Sterling Barbershop. Now starting to uh, straight razor shave can be really, really intimidating. Um, there's all different types of grinds, um, all different types of sizes, uh, different types of points, etc. cetera. Um, some of these razors can range um, anywhere from $150 um, all the way up to $1,000 really. Um, and you know, it can be difficult trying to choose the right razor. Um, Whenever I talk to somebody and they're just kind of starting out and they want something, you know, um, something easy to use, something kind of safe, something to kind of test the waters, um, I'll always, you know, suggest a, a razor like the one I just showcased from West Coast Shaving, uh, simply because the being that the, the blade is a five eighths, um, you don't have to worry about, you know, wielding a giant blade around your face. Uh, it makes it easier to achieve the proper shaving angle. Um, and being that it doesn't have a spike point, uh, makes it quite a bit safer for the beginning that's just starting out. Uh, being that it's a, a uh, Solingen made, um, full hollow, high carbon steel razor too, uh, means that it's gonna you know, retain its edge for quite some time uh, and it'll continue to, to perform for you. Um, this razor comes, uh, comes honed from West Coast Shaving and you should be able to get, you know, 30, 40 shaves before you need another hone. Um, it should be able to retain that edge for quite some time. So I, I've loaded up the brush. I'm gonna go ahead and start painting. It's just a little bit dry, but with these, um, with these synthetic brushes, I actually prefer it to be a little bit dry. And then what I'll do is I'll start adding water to it as I go. So unlike um, these Badger brushes, it's a little bit harder to pick up soap on these synthetics. But as you'll see, I'm gonna build a nice, uh, high density, voluminous, slick lather before I get shaving. And once we get a solid coat, I'll start splaying and then we'll get to shaving. So yeah, when I first started out straight razor shaving, um, I think my first razor was a, was a six eighths. 
And um, I think after about three or four uses, I became very, very comfortable with it. Um, as opposed to uh, DE blades, um, you know, straight razors kind of all, you know, kind of have their own kind of feel. And I mean, so do, so do DEs and so do, uh, so do their blades, but I mean, depending on what type of edge you get, whether it's a smiling edge, a straight, straight edge, the type of, type of grind, um, the type of steel, it can be really, really intimidating. So I really like what uh, West Coast Shaving has done here uh, by providing a, a really nice, solid, you know, option for beginners um, that is, that's really simple, really affordable, and it's still really high quality. Uh, there are some cheaper um, options out there on the market, um, but they are not, uh, I, I would say that they're not as high quality either. Um, a lot of the cheaper options you'll find out there are gonna be Chinese made, um, they're gonna be mass produced, so they're not gonna be handmade, um, and they're not known for their edge retention. So for somebody that's just starting out, I would really, really suggest, um, you know, utilizing a razor that's, you know, Solingen made, um, that has a, a nice high carbon steel and that will last you. So I'm starting to build a kind of solid lather right now. I'm gonna add a little bit more water and then we'll get going on our first pass. So this soap too um, is really <laughs> it's a really good value. Um, there there are a few soaps in the industry that I consider just to be incredible value. Sterling is one of them. Um, Ariana and Evans is another one, and uh, Barrister and Man Seville, uh, which I recently did a video on, is an incredible incredible value. Um, Sterling just reigns supreme uh, for a a low cost soap. Uh, that performs very, very well. Um, they also offer a lot of other products such as bar soaps and uh, matching uh, shower gels and all kinds of stuff. So you can you can potentially build a, a pretty, um, you know, it like pretty large set if you find like a scent you like. You know, you can get the bath soap, the gel, the aftershave, the pre-shave, whatever you want. Uh, Sterling does everything. So they do, a, they do a pretty solid job. Now, as you can see, you know, this, this soap uh, built up rather, rather quickly. I got soap all on my nose right here. <laughs> so, I mean, don't be afraid to, to uh, you know, load up real heavy on these synthetics um, because uh, being that it's a softer brush, um, you kind of need a little bit more, uh, but it will release the, uh, the soap quite easily and give you a really nice shave. So that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clean up a little bit and we'll get going with the first pass. All right. So West Coast Shaving 5 8 right? So this is a full hollow grind. Let's see if I can show you that right there, boom. All right. So easy to use. You can really hear that full hollow sing.
Yeah, so with these blades, you really don't need to worry about, you know, having a giant blade that's gonna be like protruding your view. Um, you know, you don't have to worry about a spike cutting you. I've, I've been, I have some pretty crazy razors with a, with some rather large spikes that have caught me quite a few times. And, and with this, you won't have to worry about that. Now I do it a little bit differently. Instead of going all the way down on that pass, I like to actually come up from the bottom. And like I said, this blade is just nice and maneuverable. Very, very good. This soap provides a uh, very good slickness for what you're what you're paying for. So, I mean, there are slicker soaps out there, um, mid twenties, you know, thirty bucks. But for for thirteen fifty, whatever, uh, this, this is a really high quality soap. You can definitely get a straight razor shave off of it. More than slick enough. All right, that's first pass down. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rinse my face a little bit, lather up. Um, I, I'm a two pass shaver, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lather up uh, get, get some nice slick lather and then I'm gonna do an across the grain and then maybe go against it to touch up my cheeks a little bit. <laughs> Got quite a bit of soap down there. <laughs> All right, so Back to the, uh, the Ancient Stone Collection Tuxedo. All right. And this scent is fantastic too. Um, I love both the American and the European style barbershops. Um, this one is like, um, whereas the European style is kind of more citrusy, more, more spicy, the, the American style is typically like a little bit more sweeter, a little bit more powdery. But I loaded that brush heavy. So we'll get plenty of plenty soap. Um, for this shave and at you know 1350 or whatever for 5.8 ounces you don't ever have to worry about running out of that for a long long time get a little bit more water in there make sure it's nice and slick and ready for this next pass One good slickness. Awesome. So yeah, I think we are ready for the across the green pass. All right. So I'm gonna grab my ear. I'm gonna tug my skin just a little bit.
Okay. One side down. Before I switch over, I'm actually gonna hit on my neck real quick. And again, I just do the same work. This is actually across the grain for me. Um, I'm very, very sensitive on my neck. Nice and easy maneuverable though. And you can just hear it just, you know, cutting them with those hairs. Like that's one of the great things about these full hollows is the audible feedback on them are fantastic. Very good. A little bit of a weeper there. Very, very solid. Oh no. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. So that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse my face and just do like a little bit of against the grain up top and we'll call it. So yeah, don't ever let anybody tell you that you have to go and spend a lot of money to get a good shave, because you really don't. Um, this uh, you know, $13 and change um, sterling is more than slick enough to get a good shave on. Uh, I have some really nice soaps, some really expensive razors. Um, the edge is the edge, you know. Do I enjoy using those? Absolutely. Do you have to have them? Do you have to purchase them in order to get a good shave? Absolutely not. So if you're just kind of dipping your feet in to test the waters, I would really, really suggest these products. Now for this pass, I'm just gonna do like a really, really light, overly hydrated kind of watery lather. Um, it's going to be a really slick, quick pass.
right. And that's the shave. Nice and easy. Very, very solid. All right, so my skin feels good. No major cuts or nicks. Nice quick shave. Um, post shave, I'm gonna be using Zingari's Sago Bomb, as I mentioned earlier. Really, really solid uh, post shave lotion. I love this stuff. Leaves my skin feeling nice and hydrated. Very, very good. That bomb is so good. It really is. All right, so my razor for today, West Coast Shaving 5 8 um, So this is handmade in Solingen, uh, Germany out of high carbon steel. Very, very good quality. Uh, very, very high value for the price. Um, you know, under $150, check this out. Currently on sale for like, under 110. Uh, great, great value. Uh, soap I used today was Sterling's Barbershop. This is the typical, classic, uh, traditional American style, so it's going to be sweet and powdery. Really good value. It's under $14 at 5.8 ounces. For my brush, my brush, I used my West Coast Shaving 24 millimeter um, Ancient Stone Synthetic. So this is the purple Ancient Stone. Currently, this is also under $20. And last but not least is the Gary Man's Sago Bomb. Fantastic bomb. Um, I've used this almost daily, my entire wet shaving, nearly almost my entire wet shaving career. Fantastic, fantastic bomb. Check this out if you get the opportunity. So yeah, that is the shave. I, I hope you got a lot out of this. Um, high value items, perfect for somebody that's just starting out into straight razor shaving. I'm Corey from Shaving with Chief, and thank you very much for tuning in to another daily shave.